We'll be taking a little video tour of Southern Grace today. It's the end of May 2012. See a little birdhouse display. We'll start on the back porch here. We'll pan around here. And there's the other things, items on the back porch. Stepping outside here, you see a couple of fountains here. One stuck there in the middle of our famous salvia. Everybody wants to know what that plant is. It's actually salvia. In the eight years that we've been in this location, it's probably only been three or four people that could identify what that was. Everybody else wants to know what it is. This is the first disappearing fountain we installed here on the property about six years ago. It's been running ever since. Uh, the only maintenance we've ever, ever done to it, we cleaned the intake on the pump about two times, which took a grand total of about five or six minutes. And the uh, water, pulling the garden hose over when it needs water, it actually runs 24 hours a day. In the wintertime, we have a heater in there. So it shows you the, the longevity of it, uh, very low maintenance. Uh, we'll go now, take a little tour. We have statuary area back here right up behind the building. And the reproduction line down here tends to be our best-selling line. Made in North Carolina, it is an antique reproduction line. A lot of benches, bird baths, beautiful pots. That's some of the prettiest pots made. Then we'll enter the garden walk out back here. Across the parking lot, we'll go in over here. Don't know exactly how many fountains are running here right at the moment. There, there's a lot. Uh, this is kind of a formal type fountain. Kind of zoom in on it there. And we'll pan around. Go to the basalt column. In natural rock formation, we call this a basalt block. And the sun's setting behind it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that in the video. It's a beautiful, it does have an individual video of this uh, particular fountain online as well. Wyoming Boulder, you hear my little grandson out here today. He's taking this little walk with me. Say hi, Aiden. <laughs> All right, this is the Wyoming Boulder. Great looking fountain. Um, water comes up there in the back, kind of swirls around. And we'll continue on. There's a lot of urns down through here. You should notice these beautiful flowers this time of year. And there's different, these are the basin sizes. Two by two, three by three, four by four. They are made in the USA. Very strong, durable uh, product. Just bury those in the ground, set your fountain feature on top. The urns vary greatly, so you never know what we're gonna have in urns. Uh, this year, the new one is the Gian, which you'll notice close up there, the, it looks like the finish is kind of coming off, so it kind of looks like an antique base. Uh, and then there's another one, there's a line of five of them right here. And we'll go over here to the to the bird bath fountain. This is our number three best selling fountain. Uh, it's a basalt bird bath. Great selling fountain. The birds absolutely go nuts over this fountain. That's the feedback I get from customers. The only bird we've ever had in the one here at the store is a buzzard. Uh, the birds you really don't bother it here. They're out in the water courses that we have out front. Too many people walking around back here so the birds don't frequent these. This is uh, another boulder fountain over here. Call this a hazel top after a local mountain. And down here we have the hazel river. We'll go down a little walk down through here down this pathway. The pathway here is a little over a quarter of a mile long. Uh, at any given time it's probably 75 or more fountains running. This is the Hazel River Boulder. And then this little pathway just leads into a little meditation garden, kind of hidden among the trees here. We entered it here and then we made it turn so that you couldn't see back into it. So when you, you actually have to walk back here before you see where you're going. And we just kind of come back in here and put a little patio, just some fun to do. Little fountain right there, little waterfall unit. Very quiet. Uh, you can come back here and be away from, nobody can see you, be away from the highway noise. Put a little bench and a chimney back here. here. Kind of a little hidden garden. Don't know it's here unless you walk back this way. And some people find it, some people don't. And we'll continue on the pathway here.
And as we go out through here, you can see all the plantings if we do. It makes it nice when you do these boulder fountains especially. You put some boulders out in the landscape around it. And with these, these urns look beautiful with the, with the different grasses growing in there. And as we go down through here to enter an, almost another section, we've got them lined up down through here. This is Celtic Rock, best-selling fountain on the property since it got here. Uh, it's never relinquished. It's number one. It's, it's just a great-looking fountain, beautiful at night with lights on it. Celtic Garden, got some Celtic crosses in here. Benches, things like that. are. That's actually our best-selling little bench right there, and then our best-selling birdbath right there. Then we have the solid rock granite birdbath and benches. There's a bench. This is a medium Celtic rock, second best-selling selling fountain. And we'll continue on. We got a line of, but we have a little little basalt unit right there. And a little statue right there. Two old houses here on the property. Uh, the first one there dates about 1850. It is log underneath that clapboard. And you can kind of see that that was been there a long, long time. Uh, don't know a whole lot about the history about it, but it is something that people ask about when they're walking through here. Have different urn fountains down through here. And a set of three over there on that basin. Uh, a little low in the gargoyle garden right now. I haven't restocked it for a while, but that is where all the gargoyles go. We just happen to sold them pretty much all out right now. Bubbler Rock. Uh, we're drilling through these rocks come off of my dad's farm on the Shenandoah River. You can see some of them over here are drilled, ready to go. Down here to the Asian section, uh, you can see how beautiful this is around this little water garden. We just have a fish uh, spitting into that. Have a clematis vine growing on the edge, intermingling with the hostas. It just doesn't get prettier than that right there. That's just beautiful. Got that lace leaf Japanese maple growing in there over the pond. You can see some fish down in there swimming around. Just a beautiful setting. Pagodas, Japanese lanterns, whatever you want to call them here are in the background. People have different names for them. Oak leaf hydrangeas here. So we'll walk up through here and this part of the our pathways kind of go different directions sometimes, so all together they'll, they're over a quarter of a mile, I don't know exactly how much. That's a beautiful site right there, just that guardian angel. See how she's displayed within that ivy with the green arborvitae trees behind it, just absolutely beautiful. Easy way to, to display them, it just looks beautiful. That, another one right there, you can see that pot, it's been outside for a long time, got lichen growing on it, moss. It's a beautiful thing to look at, and it's easy to get them to do that, put them in a shade garden, and wait. You can speed it up if you want. A little granite bird bath there with the koi carved into it. Simple little bamboo fountain right there. We'll go around here and show you a different look of it. Just a little simple pouring bamboo down into a little bowl. And more of this 